guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to do a simple makeup tutorial. I thought I'd get one more spring tutorial in. So this is just going to be kind of, I think this is like my favourite and kind of go-to look for around springtime. It's just really peachy, quite fresh faced and nothing too heavy. So if you like the look of this makeup look and you'd love to see how I created it, then be sure to give the video a thumbs up and just keep watching. I'm going to start off with the face first today. So I've already done my eyebrows as always. For face primer, I'm going to take the Autograph Radiant Primer. So for foundation today, I am going to take the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation, but I don't want it to be too much of a full coverage that it is. It's not the most full coverage foundation anyway, but I just want to kind of water it down the tiniest bit and just make it a tiny bit more sheer and natural. So I'm just gonna add some of this Freedom Strobe Cream, and this is just gonna make it a bit more sheer and natural looking, even though it already is, but I just want it to be a tiny, tiny bit more sheer. So I've just put it on like that, and then I'm just gonna mix it with the back of a brush, just to mix it all together. For concealer, I'm just going to mix two of the Colourpop concealers together and I'm going to take medium 30 and medium tan, I think it is, it's scratched off a little bit, but I think it's this medium tan. Use, I'm not going to take it onto the top of my lids to prime them because I just find that the Colourpop, this concealer, it does crease really quickly and on me it creases quite bad as well. So I don't want to take it on the lids because I don't want any of my eyeshadow to crease. So I'm just going to keep it under my eye. Down all the concealer, I did just want to cream contour a little bit. So I'm just going to take the Rimmel Insta Duo Contour Stick. This is the dark shade. in place. I'm just going to take my Dermablend Translucent Powder by Vici. Okay, I just got something in this eye and it just kind of ran my concealer and powder off. So I've tried to add it back on, so let's just ignore this eye. I don't know what happened. Okay, so for highlight, I'm just going to take the Jeffree Star Skin Frost and this one's in the shade Peach Goddess. I just thought it was you know, it was kind of fitting to use a peach highlight. What I really like about this highlight is that it's not, like, I don't like coloured highlights, like pink or purple, blue or green. I don't really like them because I just don't feel like I can personally wear them on a daily basis. But this one is like, it's natural. Well, it's got a natural sh tone to it, even though it still has that kind of peachy pink undertone in it as well. It's really weird, but I just love it. And just to kind of set down the cream contour, I'm just going to take the Makeup Revolution Baked Bronzer in the shade Golden Days. It's just quite a soft toned shade and it's not too, too pigmented either, so it's not going to make this look really, really intense either. Then for blush, I thought it'd be fitting again just to use a peach blush, so I'm going to use the L'Oreal Life's a Peach Blush. I've really liked using the LA Girl Pro Conceal as a eyeshadow primer. It's a really good base. Um, because the shade that I use, well I used to use it as concealer but I don't anymore because the shade isn't right for me. It's kind of got a pinky peachy undertone to it and it's, it's, I think it's in the shade natural and that because it's got that peachy pinky undertone it's really good for kind of cancelling out dark circles so using that on top of my lids is really good because I have really really dark eyelids. I'm going to take this matte white shade here just to set down that eye primer. I 
I just wanted this to be quite an easy eye look as well, so I don't want to use too many different colours. I'm going to kind of mix this pink and this red together. Just there, I think. And then just take whatever's left on the brush into the crease. I'm just going to take some of that LA Girl concealer again and I'm just going to use this to carve out the lid. Then for all over the lid I'm going to take the Essence Magical Forest eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take this peachy orange shade from there. I'm just going to take it on my finger and just pat it all over the lid. So you can completely leave the eyes like that. I just wanted to add like a bit of glitter or just a bit of more shimmer on the lids. So I'm going to take the Colourpop Super Shock Shadow in Heine. And it just looks like this. I'm just going to add the tiniest bit just to the centre of the lids. Just so that there's a bit of glitter right in the middle. My Kat Von D liner just to line the top lash line. Mascara, I'm going to take the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. I might, add another, I might add another mascara on top actually. I might just use this to lengthen it. And then I'll go on top with another one. Go over top with my Clinique Chubby Lash just to give a bit more extra volume. Because that did give a lot of length to the lashes but I just want a bit of volume in there as well. I could just move on to the lips. So I'm going to be using two NYX products for the lips. I'm going to take the Soft Matte Lip Cream and this one's in the shade London. So if you're someone that loves to keep it matte and just quite simple then obviously this would be the final look but I just thought I'd just add something a bit glossy just to go with the eyelids as well but I love wearing London just on its own so I do really like wearing this alone but I'm just going to add a gloss over top so it's again by NYX and it's in the shade Peach Crisp. Alright, that is the end of the video guys, so thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial today. If you did enjoy it then be sure to give the video a thumbs up so I can keep doing more makeup tutorials. And as always, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss a video from me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!